Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to begin a new dress as you've seen it in the thumbnail. And uh, there are a few things that you require. We will need a tape measure. We will need a 2.5 millimeter crocheting hook. We will need a darning needle. This one is for doing the finishings. We will also need scissors. And the thread I'm using today is... Um, lace yarn size number 10 or embroidery yarn and uh, today i'm going to use double of it the double strand of the embroidery yarn or the lace yarn now the dress is going to be worked in uh, two pieces the front part and the back part so we are going to make uh, a dress uh, that fits hip size number 45 and um, we the height is going to be uh, 53 uh, those are basically what you will need and uh, the shoulder size should be roughly 14 so this is the dress that we are going to make now uh, just a sketch of how it's going to be we are working it in two pieces and the determinant of the size of this dress, it's going to be a free dress, is uh, the hip size number 45. So the hip size, uh, the waist size, and the bust size will all be the same, 45, because it's going to be worked in a block. And then we will join these two, the front and the back part, to make a dress. So let us begin. We are going to work... Uh, multiples of 16 multiples of 16 and i'm going to work five multiples of 16 so depending with the size that you are making uh ensure that your chain has uh, is in multiples of 16 so 16 by 5 is 80 plus 3 starting the starting chain so i'm going to work 83 chains so make a slip knot I put my hook and then I chain 83 so yarn over pull through one two three four five six seven eight nine ten So I've done 83 uh, chains. Now I'm going to work on the fourth chain from my hook. First, second, third and fourth. So I yarn over, I insert my hook on the fourth chain. Yarn over, pull through. And then I yarn over, pull through the first stitch on my hook. I yarn over, I pull through the next two stitches on my hook. And then I yarn over and pull through the last two stitches. It's kind of a treble crochet. I yarn over. In the next chain, I will work another treble. So I pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first. Yarn over, pull through the next two. And then yarn over, pull through the last two. I yarn over. And into this next one, I will work two trebles. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first, pull through the second, the next two, and then the last two. I work another one into the very same chain, pull through two, and the last two. I will then chain three, and then work two more of the trebles into the same chain. So one, two... And the final two. Yarn over. Pull through the first one. Pull through the next two. And through the last two. And then I will work the next treble here. In the next chain. And another one in the next one. 
and the third chain into the third treble into the next chain. One, pull through two and pull through the last two. So I have this cluster in this stitch and then three trebles spread in the next uh, three chains. I yarn over, I skip four of the chains, one, two, three, four, and work into the fifth. Pull through the first, pull through the next two, pull through the last two. Chain two, work another treble into the same chain. Chain two, and then work a treble into this very same chain. Chain two, and work the last treble into the very same chain. So this is what we have. I will yarn over, skip four chains, one, two, three, and four, and work into the fifth chain. So I will work a treble, and then I work another treble into the next chain, and the last treble into the next chain. So we have three trebles and into the next I will work two trebles. Sorry. One and two trebles. I chain three and then work two more trebles into that chain. I then work three trebles in the next three chains. So one, then another treble into the next chain, and then the next treble into this other chain. Yarn over, skip three, four, sorry, one, two, three, four, and work into the fifth. A treble, a chain two, and a treble into the very same chain chain two again, work another treble, chain two, and work the final treble. So this is the first cluster, and this is the next. So work, repeat this pattern up to the end. So this is what we have. Five clusters, one, two, three, four, and five. So we have five chains remaining. I will yarn over, I skip four, one, two, three, and four, and work into the fifth chain, the last chain. Yarn over, pull through. Because I don't like weaving in ends, I will hold the yarn end and the working yarn. Yarn over, pull through the first stitch. Yarn over, pull through the next two stitches. And then yarn over, pull through the last two stitches. And then I release my yarn end. So the first row is done. We are going to work on the second row. I will chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then turn my work. And then in the first chain two space here, I will work a single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet. In the next chain two space, I will also work a single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet. In the last chain two space, I will do the same, work a single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet. This is what we will have and then I will chain two and work a front uh, post treble crochet 
on the second treble. So I will skip this first and work into the second. So a front post treble and into the next two. And into this other final here. So we will have four front post treble uh, treble crochets. I yarn over. I make a treble into the chain three space of the previous row. I chain three and work another treble into that uh, chain three space. And into this next uh, cluster, I will be working uh, front post treble crochets. So I work the first front post treble into the next I work another front post treble and then a third front post treble and the fourth front post treble. So I will skip this final treble here. I chain two and then I work into uh, this chain two space a single crochet, a chain two and a single crochet. Into the next chain two space, a single crochet, a chain two and a single crochet. And into the last chain two space, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then I single crochet two. I will show you one last time. Yarn over, skip this treble and work a front post treble into the next four trebles two three and four it brings me to this chain three space i will work a treble into the chain three space i chain three and work another treble into the very same chain three space after this, I will work four, four front post trebles. One, two, three, and four. I chain two, work a single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet into the first chain two space. Into the next one, a single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet. And into the last one, a single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet. I will chain two and repeat the pattern up to the end of the row. So this is the end of this row. We have worked four front post trebles. So I will work one double, one, 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 um, treble crochet into the third chain of the uh, the third chain of the turning chain that we had done this chain we did when we were beginning the round the row so i make a treble to do the finishing i will then chain three and turn my work yarn over skip this first treble this one that uh, holds the chain three I also skip the next and work into this one. I work a treble, a front post treble, and then in the next, another front post treble, into the third, another front post, and the fourth front post treble here. Yarn over. Work a treble into the chain 3 space, chain 3, and work a treble into the same space. I then work 4 front post trebles, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yarn over. Skip this first two chains here, work into this middle uh, part here. 
So I work a treble. I chain two. Work another treble. Chain two. The third treble. Chain two. And then the last treble. Yarn over. Skip the first treble here. You also skipping this uh, chain two space and the first treble. And I will work a front post treble into the next treble here. So I will work one, two, three, and four. So these are four front post trebles. Yarn over, work a treble into the chain three space. Chain three. And work another treble into the very same chain three space. Yarn over, work four trebles, front post trebles, so one, two, three, and four front post treble crochets. Yarn over. Skip this chain two class uh, space here. Work into the this next, the middle. So work a treble, a chain two, a treble, chain two, another treble, chain two, and the final treble. Now this is what we will have. You repeat these rounds. So you will be repeating rounds 3, rounds 2 and 3, these and this, up to the length that you desire. If you want a short dress, the length that you desire, you will work into it. But for us, we were making a very long dress uh, and our height was 53. So work this until you get to 53 inches. In case you've not understood how we have done this pattern, uh, there is a link I'm going to share uh, of where I found the pattern. Uh, the channel name is Kate's Crochet. So visit. He has very many patterns that he, you can use, you can manipulate to make blouses or dresses. So you can visit her page. I'm leaving a link in the description box below. So I have done my 53 inches of uh, this pattern. Repeating row 2 and row 3. It's a really beautiful pattern so this is it I have done two of these so I have the front panel and the back panel so in the we are now going to join these two so that we make a dress now I want to join the front and the back panels and I'm going to uh, join them from this part up to this part and then like this ensure they are very symmetrical yeah so whichever part you want to join them from ensure that uh, uh, it's the same from the back and the and the front so this will be roughly 17 um, inches of the shoulder so 8.5 by 2 the back and front so the shoulder will be roughly the neck will be roughly 18 uh, 17 17 inches now I'm going to use a single crochet to join the two panels so this is this is these are the two panels I have not decided of uh, where the front will be and the back so I will just join and then we will work those nitty gritties out later so I will insert my hook in the third chain of my uh, of the starting chain of this other side I slip stitch insert my hook into this first double crochet and into uh, the third chain where we we slip stitched in and make a single crochet match it the front so this one will go with the second on the back a single crochet the third We'll go with the third, the fourth, we'll go with the fourth, the fifth, and the fifth, the sixth, and the sixth. 
So we've come to the chain three space. I will single crochet two, one, two, and then work the first uh, treble crochet, fit it with the first treble in the back, the second treble and the next treble, the third and the third from the back, fourth and the fourth, fifth and the fifth and then this one also with this one in the chain two with the chain two i will work one single crochet and then into the double crochets work one into the chain twos work one into the double crochets work one a chain two one and then a double crochet one so we are working up to this chain uh, three space so i will continue like this depending on where you are sewing up to it depends with how big you want your your neck to be just ensure that it fits perfectly with the back panel the front on the back panel fit perfectly so into the chain three space i will make two half double crochets i chain one fasten make another chain cut my yarn and release this so i will weave in this one so one shoulder is done so this is how it looks you can see they are well fitted yeah so work on this other shoulder strap and then i will show you how to do uh, the sides so i joined the shoulder parts so this is the neck opening that i have so this is inside out uh, the outside part is like this it's barely noticeable now i want to show us on how we uh, work on the side panels uh, we need to leave uh, uh, an opening for the arms so i will skip one two three four five six seven and put a stitch marker here From behind we also have one two three four five six seven so a stitch marker here I'm going to use um, yarn yeah I'm going to use yarn so this is it I will just just join it here and leave it This is uh, 16 inches armhole. On this other side, I will do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here. So this is what we have. I will actually work on this side. Here, this is where I will work from. Let me join the yarn. I'm joining my yarn here. Remember, this is the armhole we have left. Single crochet one, and then release the yarn end. And then I will work a single crochet here and another here. Uh, make the single crochet crochets uh, loosely. So one here and one at the back. One here and one at the back. 
ensure they are very loosely done so that you don't uh, pull the dress together so one single crochet at every uh, uh, double crochet at the beginning so this is the seam that we will have and from the outside this is how it will look now do this side make a seam to the uh, end and then turn on the other side and do it and then we will meet and see how it looks like so this is our shoulder they have been uh, seamed together we have our arm and I joined uh, the sides together so this is our dress This is how the inside seam looks like. So thank you so much for watching our YouTube channel. In case this dress uh, was easy enough for you and you loved it, please like, comment, and even share with others. And if, not, if you've not subscribed, please hit the subscription button and ring the bell so that when we have another dress or another project, you'll be notified. Thank you. Thank you.